Oh, look, you beat you on camera now in Australia. Ah. He's surveying the property. God, it is beautiful, isn't it? It must be hard to get out of here and go to work. That's why you've come to me. <laughs> That's a good point. But you thought it was cool, and I was just an old fool. Oh, look at you. Lovely to see you, sir. And you, sir. Well, you really are, sir, these days. I am, yeah. <laughs> nothing's changed, though, Richard. Nothing's changed at all. How did that feel? It, it made me very honoured, very proud. Very proud to be British. To have Prince William do the honours and all that? Yeah. Were you, were you really chuffed? <laughs> yeah, of course I was. You know, it's, uh, it, it's actually an honour that's given to you by the British public, not the royal family. A lot of people think, oh, the royal family sit around and said, let's give Rod a knighthood, but they don't. They, the, the British uh, vote on it and send it to committee, and which is sent to the royal family. But it's, it's, it's gorgeous. I remember the first day, the day after I received the knighthood, there was an old fella in the street and I was walking along the local high road and he went, good day, Sir Rod. And I went, oh, this is marvellous. Tonight's the night. It must be nice to be so loved, because you must feel loved by the, well. I do, I do you know, I, I really do. I, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing, it really is. It's a, every night I go on stage and I think, do I really deserve all this love and attention? You know, it's, uh, I've chosen a wonderful career. And it's been a long career too, which is great. This tour that you've just done, huge. Yeah, it's, it was and it isn't, you know, it's, uh, it was uh, t two months. But unfortunately, I got a second out to cancel because I had laryngitis. Otherwise, I'd handled it really well. I love, I love every moment of being up there on the stage because I'm a born show off anyway, so there's not much else I could have been but a rock star. I mean, look at me. Oh, well, you could have been a soccer player. Yeah, it wasn't that good, mate. <laughs> it takes two, baby. Taking Cindy on tour with you, that, that, that was a giggle. She's very good. Yeah, she's, uh, she is good fun. I don't know about a giggle, but she's good fun. <laughs> she worked very hard and it was a very successful pairing, the two of us. Your voice is a peculiar instrument, isn't it? It is. It's, uh, I never thought of it as a, a peculiar instrument, Richard. Oh, it's a unique sound. It's uh, distinctive. That's what I it. like it. Raspy, yeah. whatever you want yeah. to say. I've put the hours in on it and crafted it, so it's me now. It used to be me trying to sound like Wilson Pickett or Otis Redding or one of those guys, but now it's, now it's Rod. So you really did in those early days think about how they'd sing it? And... Yeah, yeah, I did. I wanted to sound like them. Wrong colour. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't I try to guide you to a baptism of fire? Oh, didn't I? You do write about adult stuff. At the, last. These days. <laughs> I mean, when you get to my age, it's very difficult to write songs like Hot Legs and Stay With Me and Tonight's an Isle and you think I'm sexy. You still sing those songs on stage, and it must be always fun singing those songs. It is, you know, especially uh, when I do Do You Think I'm Sexy, because up behind the stage, I put a cover from Rolling Stone that says, I will not be singing this song by the time I'm 50. I do not want to be... <laughs> oh, but I just... you got to laugh at yourself, you know, and that's, that's what I love doing. Well, you've got to tip your hat to yourself, too, because you, you, you are sailing uncharted waters these days, aren't you? How do you mean? Well, not too many people have had the longevity that, that you've, yeah, you are true. having. Yeah. I mean, the Rolling Stones and Elton, Elton and... All the others are dead. 